No, but now the city says they expect to have this encampment removed sometime in the next few weeks. This is one camp we've covered since it started at just a few tents, now spans most of the block. Today we spoke with folks who are living here. They say they don't want to stay out here anymore and they understand the safety concerns from the community. For weeks, this encampment in South Lake Union has been growing. We really don't want to be in this situation. Tim tells me he set up his tent here after being cleared out of a nearby camp. I just want to get indoors. I'm tired of being out here, you know, on the streets. And I think everybody really is. Tim says he's been on the streets of South Lake Union for three years, but hasn't been able to get into housing despite outreach. For a while, I was paired out here. I had a partner mm -hmm. and we tried, you know, we, we did assessments with coordinated entry. The city is aware of the encampment and is now providing garbage bags for people living here to keep the area clean. The tents are partially blocking the sidewalk that connects South Lake Union to Seattle Center and Queen Anne, a busy route as we saw today. There is obviously an open air drug scene going here. There is a dealer here. There are users that are coming. It's a revolving door. Andrea Suarez and her outreach team at We Heart Seattle came to connect with people in the camp, including Tim. It's called incrementalism. Just a baby step in the right direction is all these folks need. Andrea shared information about low barrier jobs, but she says it shouldn't take weeks or months to get people off of sidewalks. Connect people to services, offer them shelter, hoteling, uh, sanctioned camps. Tim says he's ready to go in and understands why people who come by this camp are concerned about the drug use. Oh, there's children out here walking around, you know, keep, keep, you know, keep the kids, you know, far away from this as possible. This isn't really, you know, for the kids to be seeing. And we know that. Now, the city says before they clear any of these tents, they are going to engage them with the unified care team, give them offers of housing or shelter. And part of the thing that the city hand, uh, decides when and where to handle these encampments and which ones take priority is when the community reports problems. So things like drug use, violent crimes, blocking sidewalks, all of those factors into the city's decision making on this. And a lot of that comes from reports from citizens who use the Find It, Fix It app to report things when they see them around encampments in their neighborhood. Reporting live in South Lake Union, Jeremy Harris, Como News.